Thank you. So, uh, within 15 minutes, we would like to cover this, uh, how we use Wikidata and theoretical as well as practical applications, in especially in the secondary school curriculum. Okay, uh, I hope you all are very familiar with Wikidata, so I'm not giving much introduction about Wikidata, it's a structured data, and let us see how we are going to introduce, or how do we introduce the Wikidata in school. Uh, first of all, I would like to focus the theoretical part. Uh, that's as you know that uh, everyone is talking about 21st century skills. As you know, these all are uh, 21st century skills, uh, communication, collaboration, information literacy, uh, media literacy, uh, and critical thinking, problem solving. So by involving the activities related to Wikidata or Wikimedia activities, you all going through these skills. We are, we are providing this skill, or students are getting chance to uh, acquire these skills. So that's a theoretical uh, part. And also, almost every subject in every curriculum, uh, they're designed uh, based on the certain cognitive abilities. Uh, we can call this Bloom's taxonomy. Uh, in edu every curriculum they follow, when we prepare a lesson plan or curriculum, the learning activities are happening actually based on the some of the uh, learning theories. One of the very prominent theory is um, our Bloom's taxonomy, so that Bloom has uh, categorized the knowledge into various uh, levels, like uh, it's starting from knowledge level, recalling, then comprehension, application of, application of the knowledge, then analysis, synthesis, then finally, uh, evaluation. This is the highest, uh, well, evaluation is the highest domain as per the Bloom's taxonomy. So when we uh, go through the uh, Wikidata, how can we wiki connect Wikidata into these uh, domains? That's uh, one of the theoretical part. So teachers prepare the lesson plan based on this. And such activities will be done in the classroom. So when we talk about remembering, there will be very, very uh, basic uh, recalling or knowledge level, very basic activities we can see like there will be a searching information in the Wikidata or Wikimedia. Then hyperlinking, uh, connecting the site link, then checking the spell or uh, fixing the punctuation. These are the very, very basic editing, but we can do in the classroom. Uh, so that's very basic level of editing in the Wikidata as well. When we come to the uh, second level comprehension, uh, it is, you know, taking a little more uh, advanced uh, version of the learning. There will be uh, translation. Translation will come under that. So the students are not only... Uh, you know, recalling the facts, they are uh, categorizing the facts, they are translating the facts. These all kind of things will even uh, adding statements and also linking to one not existing data. This kind of uh, connections we can do using Wikidata in the classroom. I have given some of the Wikidata samples here, adding labels in different languages, uh, not, not only in English. So students can translate uh, the English label into their local language. That's a translation part. Similarly, you can see all kind of examples. Now, when we come to the application uh, level, it is a little more higher order you know, uh, learning activity. In this case, you know, students will be able to create uh, labels or create items uh, in Wikidata. Similarly, in Wikipedia, we can, that's, we can add into uh, creation of a new article. Similarly, uh, there are a uh, lot of uh, concepts it's, which are presented only in the text, but we can draw the diagrams uh, in the format of SVG uh, format, and it can be, uh, for example, photosynthesis, or any, any, you can find any example related topic, then that will be created in the SVG format, and that SVG format can be uploaded in the wiki uh, comments. That's an application of the uh, new learning. Similarly, when we come to the uh, evaluation uh, level, so there are little more higher order of learning and activities. Uh, specifically, uh, talking about Wikidata, we can see uh, verify the data with the Wikidata uh, from the data and the database. Uh, for that, we can use the tool mismatch. And also, uh, open refine. This kind of tools, but it comes in a very higher order level. Similarly, uh, in this stage, students will be able to analyze constant uh, violations of, uh, on a list of Wikidata items. And uh, there are so many tools uh, in uh, Wikidata for data uh, validation and checking the um, correctness of the data. 
So these all kind of activities will be done in the evaluation stage. Finally, uh, this is creating. So there are so many examples uh, in the creating stage. For example, da uh, Wikidata visualization. Though we have a lot of data we get from Wikidata, we can present in a different uh, visualization uh, method like in, in the form of a graphical presentation, uh, maybe timeline. We have one example that is Storypedia. It's a very famous. So it helps uh, to generate uh, timelines. So other uh, visualization tools also is in a, in a developing stage. This is a, a final, uh, or we can say, very higher order uh, stage of learning integrated with Bloom's taxonomy. So these all are the th theoretical part. Now let's see some of the practical example what we have done in the Dubai UAE. Uh, so uh, this is uh, ongoing uh, classroom activities. Especially these are some of the cases related to social study subjects. So in this stage, what uh, this is our editor on uh, using Wikidata. Uh, the teachers have done in the class as part of their regular teaching, not in a separate program as part of regular teaching. So, for example, like grade seven students when they were uh, learning the civics topic, uh, political science topic about state governments and uh, chief ministers or governors. So that time the students were uh, changing the Sparkle query and they were adding to their state and they will uh, create a list of chief ministers with uh, their photographs. So that then they will be able to identify or they will, they will get a full of list of their chief ministers as well as their uh, governors or any other political leaders. And if they find any chief minister is picture is missing or name is missing or governor is any, any, any data is missing that then they can add it. So this is mainly related to Sparkle query and finding the gap and filling those gaps. That's related to Edit it on. When we come to the, this is a, uh, another project, Citation Hunt. Though we can see a lot of statements uh, and qualifiers in Wikidata, but without having much uh, citations. So what the students are doing that, in especially in grade 8, uh, it's, uh, it's part of the Republic Day of India. Uh, they were going through the topic, uh, the, uh, they got the list of uh, freedom fighters, uh, but uh, there was no enough references or citations. So students were searching and they're finding information about these all statements and they will take in the citation link from there and they were adding into uh, this part like uh, as a, a citation. So that was the citation hand. The link is uh, attached in that presentation. It will be available later. Then recently we had another uh, program it's called Data Thorn. There are a lot of pictures in the comments without having titles and descriptions. Uh, we have collected some of the images of Nelson Mandela and Adolf Hitler and uh, Mahatma Gandhi. There are so many images. It's actually it's a part of their topic, especially in history. But when we came to geography related topics, there are so many images of uh, you know, endangered species. Uh, even the tigers as well, but without having uh, captions and file names. So students were opening these images and they were describing uh, these images as well as they were giving the uh, titles and captions. So that was uh, data. Then uh, that's a little different from Wikidata. It is uh, related to uh, Wikipedia and students were uh, received some assignments to create local history uh, as part of their uh, subject and they were creating articles on that. That was another learning activity. These all activities were actually not a separate assignment. These were all the part of the ongoing day-to-day -day classroom activities. And this was the another experiment we have done in the uh, Dubai. Uh, using the tools Wiki showed me, students were capturing the photos of uh, their locality, especially the, their local towns, and those photos uh, they were uploading in the uh, wiki comments using uh, the tool wiki shoot me and finally as educator uh, we had some challenges related to this one of the main problem most of the educators are uh, facing that lack of awareness and many of the educators are not connected with the wiki data or wikimedia uh, they have a lot of misconception that everyone can edit so that uh, what is the relevance in that we cannot trust in this this kind of awareness issues are still uh, persist. That's why many people are not using this platform. That's one of the challenge. And so getting approval to use this kind of uh, platform in school also 
need permission from higher authority so this awareness is creating challenges so we need to give proper awareness that was the challenge then digital divide especially in india there are so many people without having devices so when we conduct this kind of activities in the classroom they need devices especially the laptop or uh, tablet and all but that was one of the challenge so they were collaborating with other students those who are the device and they were you know somewhat adjusting that that's another then curriculum integration so now we have seen some of the example that's related to only social studies curriculum but uh, uh, integration with other subjects like science maths especially mathematics how can we integrate wikimedia platform into this uh, subject so that those subject teachers can also take part otherwise it will be mainly you know uh, focused only in the humanity subject this was the another challenge that's all thank you if you have questions you can do you have questions we do have time um dodi from malaysia user group um i'm surprised you teach all of these to secondary school students because on the wiki data itself you show about um in you know, a query uh, image name list um referencing because i mean do you do you do you teach them fully about wikipedia first before going into wiki data because i think all of this understanding yeah. comes from wiki wikipedia first including the yeah. referencing um category um what to do what not to do um even in 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 comments what what to upload what not to upload respecting people's privacy whether it is a freedom of panorama is it public figure or no this thing probably takes takes probably one whole year for, for them to fully uh, comprehend before they can go using all of this as a query in 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 wiki data okay thank you for that asking that question actually in my experience you know covid brought some positive change go back a little bit <laughs> okay so covid brought some positive changes that uh, especially uh, use of ict tools in the school classroom is increased so for various platform they use for day to day teaching learning activity for assessment and conducting class for collaboration lot of ict tools use so students believe that oh this is another platform we are contributing or it's a part of our learning activity so we take we are not introducing separately wiki data as a fresh so as part of every lesson according to that lesson activity they will have some activity related to wiki uh, data as well and they are experienced uh, about wikipedia before the year as well because in grade 7 onwards the students are aware about wikipedia because whenever the uh, teachers get free periods uh, they will go and simply sit instead of that that time we used to introduce wikipedia okay we are going to learn something new today there is a platform wikipedia and this is the way of creating account the students will be created account the next whenever they come to the class for the respective subjects and that topic according to that topic uh, they will be working on that so mainly in short i can say it is not just teaching like wikipedia it is integrating with our lessons so as part of the lesson sometimes they use google docs for collaborating they use quizzes or microsoft forms or google forms or kahoot there are so many platform for assessment purpose so this is the another platform for research collaborate then you know or contribute i think this all can be done using wikipedia and wikidata all our wikimedia platforms so we are also thinking to use wiki source to integrate with our i we need to find out the chapter which where we can fix this so we need to design curriculum for that in all subjects i hope i answered to you thank you uh, so uh, thank you for this uh, beautiful presentation so my question is that uh, when we run any edit edit on on wikipedia so we have dashboard and same uh, there is another tool for wiki source so when we run any edit uh, on on a wiki data so do we have any tool to track how much work we have done in this particular time in this case i have used uh, wiki uh, media uh, you know outreach dashboard Out outreach dashboard we used for some of the program to track how many students have edited what is their number of edits and also we used to appreciate the student actually not uh, wikimedia site but we used to give some certificate oh those who created uh five articles or so those who edited uh 10 edits so i will give some star points in the class so that's a motivation those who are getting more because they are small kids they are very happy with that if i provide some certificates they will be super happy so i didn't try certificates and uh, 
but I used to give stars, that's a motivation. So that will be tracked using Outreach dashboard. We can, we can get the result of references and how many edits they made, how many editors are, this all kind of... Wikidata. Yes, Wikidata as well. Thank you. Okay, so my question, you made mention of the challenges you faced and you identified curriculum integration as one of them. So I wanted to know what was the solution? How were you able to integrate this activity into their classroom curriculum? Or like, were they just doing uh, this activity outside of the curriculum? How did they align? Okay, uh, actually the first part is about awareness. Uh, so I think the, the major awareness has to be done among the teachers. So I was so uh, you know, uh, surprised that you, some of the user groups are organizing a lot of teachers training program. We have not conducted much teachers training, uh, training program, but we would like to. So I think once the teachers training programs are happening, definitely it will scale down to the students. Students, it is not a problem. They are ready to do what the teachers are telling. But to introduce this kind of things in the schools, in curriculum, first of all, teachers should be ready. There is a misconception of the teachers that I already said that you know uh, everyone can edit, we cannot. That mindset is there. I mean, many, te many teachers. It has to be removed by conducting lot of teachers training program and how this platform is helping for them to collaborate. How it's integrating. That's why I, I said the beginning, uh, the theoretical part. That is to be very clear how this Wikimedia contribution will be connected with the 21st learning century skills. If that is convinced, I think the majority of the educators will try to use this platform. They should understand the scope of this platform. Similarly, you asked about the curriculum integration. So we are okay with humanities curriculum. That's okay, curriculum integration. We can uh, go through chapter-wise, topic-wise. We can plan uh, what kind of activities we can do using Wikidata. But there is a challenge uh, that we need subject expert actually, subject experts. They should sit with uh, Wikimedians and they should understand the platform. And then they need to, I, can, I cannot tell more thing about science or other subjects which I'm not familiar. So we, we need subject experts, we need Wikimedians, sit together, let's find out the possibilities so that they can also, in the beginning of academic year, when they prepare the curriculum, there will be a column that Technology integration. So in the technology integration part, they can purposefully bring Wikimedia platform so that it will get uh, more visible and it will be an ongoing day-to-day -day activity. It will be become like that. That's the only way. Thank you. Thank you all. We don't have any uh, more time for questions, but... Uh, um